everybody welcome back to IP Farms well it's gonna be another shop day today I should say outside shop day uh, rained a little bit this morning uh, a little overcast but I think the rain's gone for now till Thursday so we're gonna get back outside here and see what we can do um, I've got to put a few grease fittings in the disc plow get the hydraulic line holder situated and check the oil level in the uh, um, mechanism there and I did stay a little bit late yesterday and got the um, slot plate welded on the other side of the big disc hitch. So that's finished up. So really all we have left on it is to check the wheel bearings and check the adjustment on the cylinder or the slop in the pins or whatever. See what's going on. See if I can get the wheels to raise up a little bit more. So we're going to work on some more of that today. I need to get these two pieces completely ready to hook behind the tractor. So as soon as I get the front field and the donkey pasture, um, cleared off completely around the fence lines and uplifted, I can go ahead and start turning some dirt. Um, I told you a couple videos back about a uh, piece of equipment is going to be coming new to the farm here soon. Uh, that's still on the way. I still got to get the truck fixed, got to get the trailer fixed. Um, you know, always something to do. But there's a good possibility there might be a second piece of farm equipment that I've been looking for for a really long time that I've got a pretty good beat on. So I'm hoping that works out. So maybe several new pieces of equipment that's going to be vital to the uh, reclaim here and getting these fields ready and uh, everything over the next month, month and a half, something like that if I don't run out of time. So let's see what we can get into today and uh, see if we can get these two buttoned up and ready to put in the ground. Well as usual I didn't turn the camera on in enough time. I should have filmed the top one but anyway we're just trying to clean the pull these grease fittings out and clean out the passages you wouldn't think that old grease would clog up and get sticky as nasty as grease is to begin with but I'll tell you once it gets some age on it and heats up and cools down it uh it really can clog it up the top passage was very very clogged up so let's see if we can get this bottom one i don't have the right size new fitting the ball has actually gone out of the top one so there's no pressure on this particular item it's just going to grease the shaft up and down so I'll have to get a the right size grease fitting but at least we can get some grease in it for right now see how things are going to be tight see grease fitting but I just usually take a uh, piece of uh, the MIG welding wire and try to jab in the hole see how bad it's uh, clogged up and then spray it out with a carb cleaner and put some air on it and uh, get it going this one doesn't feel near as bad as the top one being on the bottom this is probably one that never got greased that much go around it and if you're not looking for it you wouldn't realize there'd be one down here so I feel like it probably got missed quite a bit yeah if you can if you can see that coming out it's not coming back out of the hole so that one's pretty good yeah, that wasn't clogged up at all, really. Just take a little bit of uh, compressed air on the blowgun. Just watch your eyes if you have anywhere it's going to come out. actually blowing the goo out on me from the top so we know we're good there <clears throat> let's say what did I do with the grease fit there it is and then just uh, check your fitting itself like I said there's no balls left in these um, I don't even know as old as this thing is if they had balls in them or not usually it has a little check ball but uh you can see how, I mean, that's just, it's almost like molasses, if you will, once it old grease, which there's no telling how old this uh, 
grease is in this. When I tried it in a few videos ago, it uh, most everything took grease. I think these were the only two that I couldn't get to take grease, which ironically it's the two that need it the most because this is where the front axle pivots up and down to drop the front down. It wasn't a big deal then because of uh, the top brace was still bent. I didn't really have a, uh, if you can see that or not. Grease fitting good there. Of course, blowing it all over my air gun, naturally. Well, this is I expected. The uh, seals are gone out of the gearbox. Stupid me, sit there and put a whole quart of uh, gear oil in it without checking it beforehand, so now it's got to leak out a whole quart of gear oil and we'll just fill it up with grease, but no big deal. Um, I was able to get the uh, hydraulic holder doohickey there. And we're going to start drilling it, mount it right here. So. Okay everybody, I believe we'll wrap this one up for today, getting kind of dark. I worked late last night, so I'm going to head in today a little bit earlier. Uh, showed you everything we got done on the disc plow, so I was planning on moving it this afternoon down in the field and dropping it off for the last time, but uh, I'll wait till tomorrow, let this oil drip out and fill that up with grease, and we are good to go. So, just want to say thank you all for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, thank you to all the new subscribers that's come over. And on that note, uh, if any of you guys that are on my channel haven't checked out Davis and Sons, uh, he's a guy out in Oklahoma. Um, I think him and his dad do some kind of construction, grading, um, demolition type thing. That is a very good channel. He was on uh, Russ Thomas's live stream the other night, and I remember Russ talking about it. I forgot the name, and just happened to pop up today, and I've watched all of his videos. He's, he's just starting out. I think he's got around 30, 32 subscribers, something like that, but uh, corresponded with me today, back and forth on the comments, just super nice guy, um, got some boys that uh, can run equipment probably most better than most adults, um, just very good channel already, what I've seen, I think he'll do very well, so if you guys don't mind, if any of you are watching here, pop over there and uh, check him out, it's Davis and Sons, um, I think he's got a bulldozer in his little... Uh, icon but if you can't find it for some reason just drop down in the comments of any of the last couple videos of mine and check him out pop over there subscribe to him give him a thumbs up just an awesome guy like i said starting out he had a lot of the same uh hesitations that i did i believe uh starting out youtube but i think he'll do really really well um really good content got, got a little bulldozer that uh he uses a track hoe um different things he just it's a lot of uh I consider old school methods like myself, um, work with what you got, do with what you got and go from there. He's got several sons, um, just awesome channel. So if you get a chance, drop over there and check him out, Davis and Sons. And again, just want to say thank you everybody for being here. Um, thumbs up the video if you like what you see. If you don't, I totally understand. <coughs> Share it, get it out there with somebody. Um, you know, there might be other people out there that uh, are interested in this. Like I said, pretty much just a daily routine here at the farm. Uh, we got a little bit done today. Got one of the two pieces of equipment finished up. So uh, we'll jump back on this big disc tomorrow and straighten out the wheel bearings and the cylinder. And uh, both of these will be ready to pasture until they're ready to turn dirt, which I hope is no more than a month away. So please stay tuned for all that. Um, thank you again. Until next time. Thank you.